Hey everybody, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Um, I was over on my BitChute cha channel and I ran across a video I did about three years ago. And I thought you all might get a kick out of it. Uh, it's kind of how uh, Shani and Rev stage some of their stuff that they put on YouTube and how crazy they are. Uh, y'all might get a kick out of it. Listen, y'all have a good week coming up. Okay. I need serious help from the Christian community right now. I need prayers. Because I don't trust you motherfuckers. You're fucking paid thugs. Period. True. You don't serve and protect. You enforce fucking draconian law. Because you're bored. And you want to do something to make you feel fucking powerful. Well, take this, fuckers. I don't trust you. Fuck the police. I'm a victim. Period. Period. I need Yeshua HaMashiach. I need prayer for Jason because he's denying God and the Holy Spirit and I need Christian help. I need your help, Christians. I need your help. Hey, everybody. I hope everybody has a good first coming up. I just wanted to bring, bring, bring you this from the... Uh, YouTube uh, the functional family album uh, what you have here and I know a lot of people on Boyd's not familiar with this what I've been doing I've been drifting out of Boyd just popping in from time to time uh, Boyd's pretty much nothing anymore just yelling and screaming and doxing and stupid stuff so I've gone on to, to the real nutbags of YouTube <laughs> And uh, there's other communities that I find much more entertaining. Uh, Secular Opinion and Grampy Lobster, if you're not uh, a sub of theirs, you might want to sub them up because they do great commentary on these type folks. And I don't know all that well, but I do know Shanny from Christ a little bit. I don't know Rev, her so-called husband, but they're not legally married, but I'll, I'll call them the husband, Rev, a little bit. Uh, she has a channel called Shanny for Christ, I think is one word, and his is uh, The Revelation News. Uh, they're from <laughs> what you might call the Christian community. They're very defunctional, and she'll tell you she's been the therapist for years. It got so bad before she hooked up with Rev, she was married to another guy who left, thank God, <laughs> and got out of there. Uh, her Shani's mother has even come on YouTube begging her to stop, stop the craziness. But therapy hasn't done a bit of good for her, and I think they may be uh, mixing it with a little bit of that puff puff. <laughs> but Shani's a, a a bodacious BBW. I would say a little over 300 pounds. Rev maybe 160 soaking wet. <laughs> but there they are, folks. They live their lives on YouTube, and it's very dysfunctional. But it's come down, this is my reaction, these are my opinions. They may have a, a rift in their marriage, but I think it's uh, staged. I think it's scripted. And I think some of you will agree with me, some of you won't. I know they have some problems in their marriage, like most marriages, but this goes way overboard. And I'll show you a little bit of it. She, she spills all the beans on them. Two or three days ago, he was trying to do a stream, and it got so bad he had to run in the bathroom and lock the door. She was going after him and screaming and hollering at him, calling him all kind of names. She'll get to screaming, and sometimes it does sound like a demon coming out. But uh, they're all in for it, uh, hopefully, to grow their channel so they can make some money. But uh, at one time, I think they did a little porn segment at Pornhub or she had a website trying to get money for it didn't raise any money <laughs> poor old Reb banging old, old Shanny <laughs> I saw bits of clips of it <laughs> it's more comical than anything but there, there are a couple that uh, are using YouTube I think in the wrong way especially for women who are actually battered and uh, 
But uh, I'll make a little commentary through here. I don't want to keep you up all day with this kind of stuff. I don't do streams. I'm not on there for four or five hours or six, seven hours. I don't know how some of you people can do it. I can't sit still more than 30 minutes. And sitting there in the same spot hour after hour, some of you all are going to get some blood clots. You need to get off your butt and do something. But uh, I'm going to play you some clips here. You all have a good one. And I, like I said, I'll interject from time to time. Enjoy. I need prayers on to Jason because he's being extremely dangerous and increasingly violent lately. He's been smacking me more and I just discovered that he's been looking at these uh, this fake uh, rape porn lately. Um, it is like jiggly girls rape porn stuff. And I need some help. I need some prayers for this man. He has a serious freaking demon in him, this violent demon. And I've been trying to deal with it for a really long time and I can't do it anymore. I need the church. My personal opinion is, uh, the demons in her, not him. Uh, <laughs> I've watched her over the years when she only get five people in her stream and the demons in her, believe me, folks, it's not in Rev. <laughs> but she's going to cut his guts out all over the YouTube network and the world, in front of the whole world. The best uh, advice I could give you is get off of YouTube. <laughs> Need Yeshua HaMashiach to help this man because I've been spending three years fighting this man's demons for him and trying to heal him of, of whatever is hurting him. He's addicted to really bad stuff and he needs mental help and I keep telling him he needs mental help and he's not getting the mental help. Now me, I am on full board of getting any mental help that I need. But right now, I need the Christian community to help me either get me out of this situation with me and my children or, or help this man get the help that he needs. But I'm tired of playing games with people. I'm tired of pretending that this stuff isn't real. I need help because I love this man dearly. I've always loved this man and I've always seek to get this man help because me as a wife can't help this man if he's literally looking up rape porn and then becoming violent on me because of it. I wanted to get help. That's right, folks. She wants him to get help. I'm going to tell the whole world how nasty a vow. You're into rape porn. No! <laughs> you know how horrifying it is to live with a man who looks at rape porn? I wonder if Rev is cowering in the bathroom, sitting on the toilet listening to this, or he's in the kitchen laughing his ass off. I don't care if he doesn't want me after this. I want this man to have help. I love him. Yeah, did you catch that, folks? <laughs> The, the flash of the, the grasp on her arm was bad enough to bruise her to make it look like doo-doo. <laughs> what did he do? Fly off the toilet and grab her with a messy hand? <laughs> That's no way black and blue. That's brown. Yeah. <laughs> it's all better for this script. Now, I'm sure I bored you all long enough. I'm going to show you. This was a four-hour stream. These people live on social media. People who do that really end up ruining their lives. But about halfway through, maybe for an hour or two in between then and there, they, they stopped the stream and put up a sign and 
there you can hear them giggling and laughing in the background and then they come out all lovey dovey I'll show you a little bit of it and then I'm gone I will end it with this this is a horrible way to portray women who are actually beaten black and blue or abused by their husbands or vice versa it's horrible in my opinion It's my fault that man is looking at violent porn! It's my fault that he's not touching me anymore other than through violence! Do you want to know the type of fucking wife I have? Do you want to know what kind of wife I have? She's right now down there airing everything about all the problems I've been going through, looking at hentai rape porn and stuff, because I have been going through that. Massive rage, massive amounts of mental, mental anguish. And yeah, it's because of her. She's right now totally slandering me. So get ready for a wild ride. That side profile, dude. Look how thin I got. I know you got like very boom. Thin. You got very look thin. Look at that, man. Boom. Yeah. All you see is like big titties, though. But that makes me look fat. Is my big titties? Makes you look fat. Yeah. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come in the time of the dead that they should be judged. And thou shalt give this reward unto thy servants. The pro. This is the throne judgment. The beam of seat judgment where we get our rewards. The servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, great and small. And shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And that's the new world order. They're destroying the planet deliberately. With the 5G. They're destroying the planet deliberately. This goes to show you folks, don't believe hardly anything you see on YouTube. People are scripting stuff. Uh, they may be psychotic, though. I really think they're both psychotic. They think they're Christians, or at least they believe, and I don't know what's in their heart. But this is so wrong on so many different levels. They're actually taking their insanity and posting it for the whole world to see. Don't you think they're children? She has a couple of kids. I think they're almost teenagers or are teenagers. My God, what's the world come to, folks? There's many rabbit holes on YouTube besides Boyd and drama. And some of these rabbit holes are completely psychotic. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>